guys, it's your girl Brianna, aka Mini Marley, and I am back for another video. You guys, this one is going to be a hair tutorial, a classic twist out tutorial. A lot of you guys have said in the past that I'm the twist out queen, and for the longest time, I have not been feeling it. I do not claim it, but today, honey, I am the twist out queen. Do you guys see this hair? Now let's get into this tutorial and if you want to know how I got this bomb twist out honey then keep watching this tutorial. Alright, so I'm starting my twist out on freshly washed hair, of course, and I just have my hair in a shower cap wrapped in a towel. Just because I like to keep the moisture in my hair, I like to start my styles on wet hair. I don't really like to start on dry, and water is moisture, honey. So I'm going to go ahead and create a deep side part for this look today. I love the deep side part, especially with a tapered cut kind of like I have right now. And then once my part is created, I'm just going to section my hair off into four sections. I pretty Pretty much always work in these exact same four sections now for the products so I'm using the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie a little bit of the Jane Carter Nourish and Shine and I'm also going to be using a little gel today and I'm using the Aunt Jackie's Curl Boss Curling Jelly I really like this gel it's really nice and light and you guys are probably like oh my god the Curl Enhancing Smoothie and the Nourish and Shine again but girl I promise we are going to get into some new products with this new hair but for this first hairstyle I just really wanted to see where my curls back to normal i've been missing my curls for so long and i just wanted to do my twist out using my holy grail products just so i could really see if my curls were popping and not have to worry about if it was the product or my curls so we're going with the basics today i went ahead and twisted up this back section of hair after making sure that it was moisturized and that section is kind of hard to see so let me show you guys exactly how i did this in the middle section so I like to create three rows in this midsection so I went ahead and sectioned off that first row of hair. And as you can see, I'm starting with a big glob of my Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. You can use whatever styling cream you like. I really like this one. It gets my hair nice and moisturized. And I'm just adding some water with my spray bottle just so that I can get that product moving and just moisturize and massage that product into my strands. Then I'm going to go in with my Denman brush and just detangle this entire row of hair. I like to make sure that my hair is detangled before I start twisting so I don't have to, you know, get rid of any major knots during the twisting process so now this is all smooth and moisturized and I'm gonna take about a finger full of my Jane Carter nourish and shine this is a really thick product so make sure that you rub it between your hands and just get it all melted and then I'm gonna focus this product on the ends of my hair I really want to make sure that my ends stay nice and healthy no more issues and no more split ends but you can use that Nourish and Shine down the entire shin of the hair for extra moisture. I went ahead and sectioned off my first section, used my Denman brush to detangle, and then just twist it up. Once I get to the end of my twist, I always coil it around my finger and then I just get rid of any extra product on the twist. I forgot to mention that I did also add my gel. So I do like to add a light gel sometimes with my twist outs. I personally do not use a heavy gel. I like to use really light gels like this one and I just take a little bit of it and it just gives me just a little bit of extra definition. But if you like to use gel, you can definitely do that. For me, it takes so much longer for the twist twist out to dry when I use too much gel and my hair is pretty defined on its own so I don't need a lot just a little bit goes a long way so I'm just gonna twist up this entire row of hair I make sure that I really take my time get a nice twist make sure that I detangle this section along the way if I need to because that is how you get a really nice curl again once I finish the twist I just coil it around and then get rid of any extra product when you are applying your curl enhancing smoothie or whatever styling cream you use make sure that you also kind of apply it in small sections as you see I divided this front section in half just so that I can make sure I really thoroughly get that moisturizer in there and I just really massage it in you want your hair to not only look good but feel good and soft and moisturized so don't skip that step <laughs> I'm just winning my daydream. Make believe 
So in the crown of my hair, as you can see, this section is a lot less defined. It's a lot more frizzy. I'm still working on it. I feel like the rest of my curls have all popped back, but this section I'm still working on. I actually plan on doing some Olaplex treatments and more protein treatments just to get these curls popping again. But in this section, my hair is a little bit more frizzy, so I used more gel in the crown of my head. In my problem areas, definitely more gel, and that really, really helped in the end it looked perfect i didn't have any issues so if you do have problem areas like me with more frizz i do recommend adding more gel on those sections i'm in a relationship but she don't know it yet say she got a boyfriend but that's irrelevant because i don't care who she my hair is pretty much all twisted up now and this process honestly went so much faster because my hair is shorter now and it's also just a lot less tangled because my ends are trimmed and that is the best part of a fresh trim. Everything goes faster, wash day, styling, just about everything. So I let my hair dry overnight and it pretty much took maybe about 8 hours or so to dry and this is what it's looking like. I'm going to use some of my melanin hair care hair oil, I love this stuff. I actually want to review the cream for you guys as well i know i'm so late but it's coming just wait on it but i'm just gonna take some of this oil and just massage it into my scalp make sure that it's all over my hands just for some added slip as i take down my twist and i'm also gonna apply a little bit of that oil directly to my scalp from the bottle just because it was feeling a little bit dry but let's get to the takedown of these twists i could not wait to see how these curls were looking and as you can see the definition is all there it was looking so so good so for the takedown make sure that you guys take your time i always stress that in my twist out tutorials you do not want to rush through the takedown because it is just as important as the twisting process because you want to make sure that you don't create frizz the more definition you have the longer this is going to last so just take your time i personally like to split my twist in half and then i just kind of uncoil it and slowly separate the twist where they feel like they naturally want to separate and then I coil each individual little curl around my finger and that helps so much sometimes when you're separating your twist it'll create a little bit of frizz but if you just coil it around your finger really quick it'll just wrap right back up and you'll get rid of that frizz like it never happened but can we talk about these curls <laughs> they look so good you guys have no idea how hype I was that day but as you can see, this is what I mean by a section that looks frizzy once you pull it apart, but once you coil it around your finger, it's perfect again. All right, let me stop talking so you guys can watch me take down the rest of these twists. So the twists are all taken down and as you can see you can't even really tell that I have a problem with frizz in the crown of my hair. Using a little extra gel really worked and I'm loving the way these curls look. They are officially back. The last thing we need to do is slick down these edges and fluff out our hair just a little bit. I'm using this Style Factor Edge Booster Pomade. I love this stuff. Sometimes I use a little bit of my Eco Styler Gel along with this, but on this day in particular, I just use a little bit of the Edge Booster. I didn't really go too crazy with it. Just want to slick it down a little, especially since I have this nice deep side part and one side of my edges is really going to be showing. So I just did that and then I went ahead and tied it down with my scarf for a few minutes.
If you guys have not tried this Style Factor Edge Booster or Pomade, you definitely need to get on it. It is not like any other edge control you have ever tried. It works so well and it comes in a lot of different flavors. I personally get mine on Amazon and I will link it below. But now I'm just going in with my pick and fluffing at the roots. I really didn't go too crazy. My hair has such a nice shape from the cut that my mom gave me. So I didn't even feel the need to stretch too much. I really wanted this to last as long as possible. So I didn't want to disrupt the curls, but this is pretty much what my hair looked like when I was finished. Is it popping or is it popping? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial from beginning to end from my hair color horror story to this bomb twist out. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel, girl, you want to subscribe right now because like I said, the natural hair videos are about to be coming at your neck. So make sure that you hit subscribe before you leave and comment below what do you guys think of my haircut? I know it's a lot shorter. Are you guys upset that it's short or are you happy that I finally made that decision? And let me know what hair tutorials you want to see up next. All right, guys, peace out and I will see you in my next video.